Hi you guys, I hope everybody's doing good today. I have another wonderful, powerful, encouraging word from the Lord. Um, today is 7-27-2022 and um, I am so excited you guys. I woke up singing a song this morning. The Lord woke me up with a song of my heart. Um, and if God is for us, who can be against us? And I just woke up with this excitement. I don't know. I really don't know why. I don't, I just feel like something is about to happen. Like something's about to go down. I don't know. I just, I woke up with this excitement and it's just, and I can't get rid of it. I can't kick it. It's like, I mean, I don't want to kick it. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of it. But I'm so excited, like something is about to happen. God is about to do something huge. I just know it, I feel it in my spirit, and I just want you guys to get excited with me and with God because he is saying, he is saying today in these time, these days, get excited and I am excited and I don't even know, like sometimes I don't wake up all this, I wake up early and sometimes I don't wanna get up. This morning I just bounced right up and I'm like, woohoo, like, what's going on? Like, I feel good today, I feel amazing. But but it's an excitement from the Lord that I just know it's in my spirit. Like there's something in my spirit, something's going on. But anyway, enough about that. I just want you guys to get excited with me and with the Lord because we are living in some awesome, awesome times. And um, anyway, so let me pray really quick and I will give you the word. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Thank you for waking me up this morning with an excitement um, in my heart. Thank you for waking me up with a song in my heart this morning, Father. And thank you, Father God, for the opportunity to uh, to just to wake up and to have another day to just to glorify you and to praise you and honor you, Father, because you're so wonderful. You're so, so good, Father. You're so wonderful, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your people. Thank you for my family. My, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, thank you, Father, for my family. And I just ask that you bless them, your children. God, bless them. Pour out your love and your peace and your joy. Father God, in them, um, just have your way in your people. Um, Lord God, in Jesus' name, we just love you. We glorify your holy name. And we just thank you for what you're doing today, Lord. And thank you for just everything. Thank you for all of your blessings, God. Thank you for loving us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So I got this word again on 7-6-2022 and this at 5-16 a.m. And um, this is what he says. He says, worthy is the king of glory. Yes, I am worthy to be praised. Arise, my children, arise and declare your victory. Shout aloud, the victory is mine. Speak to the battles you are up against. The mountains in front of you. Tell them to move aside and get out of your way. Shout in the name of Jesus for the power in that name gives you the power over everything and power over everything was in bold. Even when you do not see or feel the mountains crumbling before you, believe and know that they are no more. Receive everything the blood of Jesus has done for you today. Don't wait another day. Declare your victory today, my children, and let me do the rest. I am the I am my beautiful children. And if I say you have the victory over it all, you must believe it to be so. There is a big change coming to your land, O America. Prepare for this change as it will be an abrupt change. Although it may seem that things look worse, you must trust me and know that these events have to take place for the removal of the enemies of Almighty God. I am moving in such a way that all will know who I am and I have had enough of them. And I have had enough of them. They will be brought down from their so-called high places once and for all. By me, the most high, saith the Lord. I didn't read that very well, did I? It's okay. I think you guys get the picture. I guess I, I could start over. Um. I am moving in such a way that all will know who I am and have had enough of them. And and I have had enough of them. And they will they will be brought down from their so-called high places once and for all by me, the most high, saith the Lord. That's a little better. <laughs> so hold on, my children. Hold on to me. 
hold on to my love and remember as these changes are taking place not to fear do not fear what you see do not fear the turbulence up ahead <clears throat> excuse me you must know i have you and shield you from it all i will never leave you my children i will never leave you the excitement that i feel for you is so great i see far ahead of you and know what is in store for you as the bumpy ride settles down you will understand what i am saying to you now everything and i mean everything will change for your good my children this change will destroy the old and usher in the new i am doing a new thing don't you see it you have never experienced what I had planned for you from the beginning as the enemy warped the minds of your leaders so long ago. Not just you, my beautiful America, but all of my earth. Yes, it is my earth. I created it for me and I will have the final say and the last laugh. This earth is mine. Oh, sorry, this earth of mine will indeed be blessed and full of my glory once more. So get ready for it and rejoice for the end time harvest. Yes, my final harvest is oh so ripe. I am getting ready to move in such a way that every single soul will know I am the Lord and there is no other. Celebrate my children, celebrate with me. Stay in my peace. I give you my joy. I give you all of me. And that's in bold. My love rains down on you. Receive it all, my children. Receive all that I have for you. Look to me and only me in these days of change that are about to take place. And remember, this will be a season of restoration for what I had planned for you from the beginning. It is my time to shine. This is your time to shine. Let us shine together, my children. I love you with an unending love saith the Lord of hosts, your heavenly father. So when I got this word, you guys, um, well, I got this word. I got this word, um, a few weeks ago, but on Monday, um, I was going to release a word. I actually recorded this video on Monday and then it didn't get out. I didn't, I didn't post it, but in that time with the Lord, when he, when I was going to release this video, um, when I was going to release a word or whatever he asked, you know, I asked him which word he wanted me to release. So he took me to this one, excuse me. And I was like, well, I don't have a scripture, which I, I've said this before. Um, I didn't have a scripture for the word, the prophetic word. And I usually, <clears throat> I don't like to give a word without, you know, the written word. And he knows that. And he, you know, he doesn't really like us to do that either. I don't think, I mean, maybe he does. But uh, I don't think he cares. His word is his word, whether it's in the word or, you know. But, um, so I was like, well, I don't have a word. So I closed, so I don't have a scripture. So I closed my eyes. I was right here and I just closed my eyes and I said, Lord, I said, I need a, I need a scripture for this word. You know, can you give me a vision? Can you just flash it in front of my face? So I was like, can you just flash it in front of my face? And um, that was silly for me to say. Cause I don't ever get visions. I mean, I do, I don't say that cause I, I don't like to speak that. I don't get visions very often. I don't, they're far and few, far and few between for me. Um, but I hear them all day long. You know what I mean? So I'm a hearer. So I didn't get a vision. So I said, okay, well then just let me, can you just tell me one? <laughs> can you just tell me a scripture? And so loud and clear, I hear Isaiah 43. And I was like, okay, well, what does Isaiah 43 say? So I start reading it. And of course I know the scripture, but I just don't know where to find it. Like, I'm just being honest with you guys. I, my memory to, to the location, I know scripture, I know scripture, but I sometimes do not remember the verse. Why? I don't know. I just, I just don't know, but, um, it's okay. I'm just being honest, <laughs> you know, it's okay. And so, um, so he gives me Isaiah 43. So I'm reading it. And then sure enough, it says an 18, but forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm about to do or what I'm going to do. 
Remember, this is the New Living Translation. I read out of the New Living Translation. If those of you are new and you don't know, I read out of the New Living Translation and it is actually a paraphrased, which, you know, I have many other Bibles and I go on and I have the concordance and I have all of it. So this is just what I read because I'm not a scholar, not a scholar. So, you know, it's easy for me to understand, but I do go and compare it with the, with the, with the King James version and the new King and the, and the amplified and whatever. But, um, on a daily, this is what I read and God knows it and he doesn't care. <laughs> so I know some people are like, Oh, well you shouldn't read that. Well, God doesn't care. And he actually quoted it exactly how I read it in the, you know, so he says, um, in 19 for, I'm going to do a brand new thing. See, I have already begun. Don't you see it? I will make a road through the wilderness of the world for through the wilderness of the world for my people to go home and create rivers for them in the desert. And so, um, he's just so good, you guys, because he said exactly that in the word he gave me. He said, first he says, this change will destroy the old and usher in the new. I am doing a new thing. Don't you see it? And so I just about fell over, you guys. I'm just like, God, you're so amazing. He's so good. He's so wonderful. And, you know, it just gives me that little boost, that confirmation that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? That I'm actually doing what he's called me to do. You know, because I still sometimes have a hard time, like, getting on here. I mean, definitely not as hard as it was the first couple times I... I you know, the first many, many, many times, but I still, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'll make a video, you know, do I have to? Yeah, you have to, <laughs> you know, it's like, not because I don't want to come before you guys and share the word, but it's just, I never expected that God would ask me to do this for one. This is just, I mean, it's absolutely mind blowing. It's crazy that God is having me do this. Like me, like little old me. You know what I mean? Little old Emily that couldn't even give a book report standing in front of class without like an anxiety attack, you know, in, L in, in junior high school, you know? And so, cause in high school I graduated independent studies because I was pregnant at 15. So I, I taught myself the rest, my four years of high school, basically, well not four, three years <clears throat> of high school. I was, I did independent studies and graduated that way. And so, um, I graduated though. I certainly did. I got a diploma that, that says so even pregnant at 15, I got a diploma. So hallelujah, glory to God. But, um, <laughs> so anyway, I am, yes, it's still, it's crazy for me that I'm, that I am doing these videos, um, that God has asked me to do this and that I hear from him, um, on a daily, almost on a daily basis, you know, that he gives me a prophetic word almost every single day and you know it's overwhelming sorry it's very overwhelming and it's just sorry that's the holy spirit i'm not sorry but <laughs> that's the holy spirit um thank you holy spirit thank you thank you um, yeah, so, whew, the Holy Spirit is so wonderful. Yeah, so, what was I saying? <laughs> so, God is so good. Yes, I would never have imagined that I'd be doing this, and, um, I don't even know what I was saying, but praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And, you know, it just, I was saying, oh, it's confirmation. You know, when he gives me a scripture that lines up with the, with the word that he says, it's just basically word for word. I mean, word for word. He knows that I don't know where the, to find the, you know, the scriptures, you know what I mean? He knows, he don't care, <laughs> you know, and that's, that's what's so wrong with the church today. I'm not saying you guys, I'm not saying anybody in particular, but some people think even like about yourselves. Oh, well, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know enough scripture. Or I don't know where to find the scripture. Or I don't know this or so what God, if God doesn't care. And some people think, 
oh, well, they don't know where it is or why would God use them or God can't use you or God can't and, and won't use that person because they, they haven't, you know, they haven't gone to a Bible college or Bible school or this and that and the other. It's a bunch of baloney, you know, and um, that's religion. God just wants a heart. That's what he wants. God wants a heart. He wants somebody who wants to spend time with him and sit at his feet and sit with him and and praise him and glorify him and just adore him the way he adores you because he just loves us so much you guys he wants to pour out his spirit into anybody who's willing to receive it to all of his children he wants every single one of us to be able to hear him on a daily basis and and I never thought that I would be able to I, I, I never knew that I was it's just crazy but I just I just love the Lord I just love him and I just want to spend time with him and you know, but anyway, and so, um, so yeah, I'm kind of just rambling now, but I should probably go over a couple things that he said. Um, we just have to basically, we don't fear what we're, what we're, what we're about to go through you guys, because we are about to steal. Uh, I have a couple words that I'm actually going to probably come on again tomorrow because I have another word that, um, that I need to release, but, um, because there's some, there are some dark, there's some dark times ahead of us. You know, we're, we are going to go through some darkness and like he said, whatever we see or hear and whatever we go through, um, we have to know that this is for our good and that, um, that restoration is on the other stop on the other side of this, you know, it's on the other side. And so, um, you know, back in one of my first couple, my first couple videos that I had released, it was either my first or second video. Um, yeah, you should go back and watch those. Those were really funny. I was so, ner I was so nervous. Oh my gosh. I won't even go back and watch them because I just, I'll probably delete it if I did. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I might actually do another video that has all three because the first video did three videos in one and I might break it up and do, you know, do those prophetic words. Um, separately I might do that maybe um, but anyway there was a, a word that I released about darkness that's coming and I don't necessarily it's not like the three days of I don't believe it's like the three days of darkness um, you know that that's talked about in the Bible it's a darkness that's coming um, and there is going to be like a silencing like like um, you know the internet going down and and you know power outages and and stuff like that like you know, and maybe even the phone's not working. And so I believe that we're going to go through that soon, you guys. And I don't know, I don't know when I don't, I just believe in my spirit, like the Holy Spirit is saying that this is going to come soon, you know, and when we go through that, we need to just praise. We need to just spend time with the Lord and, and praise him because when, you know, it's all going to change, you know? And so, um, I don't know when that's going to happen. I just know I got a word about that. And, um, I think I've actually given a couple words about that, but I just want to, it's just a refresher, you know, just a refresher basically of, of some words that I, you know, because we haven't experienced that yet. And he said, we're going to, and I just believe it's coming soon. I just really do. I believe that it's, it's upon us. I believe that there is a great change that is about to, there's a shift that is about to take place. Like a great change is about to happen. And and so, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying if, if the internet goes down, because we don't know what's going to happen exactly, but if, if, if stuff starts to go out and there's a big, uh, and a silence comes and, and darkness comes and that, you know, don't fear like, you know, and if the ground starts to shake beneath your feet, if there's an earthquake or, or if there's crazy weather, there's stuff that is going to be happening in the physical that is showing that it's, that it's happening, you know, it's going to happen in the natural, whatever the natural that's that's showing what's taking place in this, in the spiritual, you know? And so, um, just don't fear and just don't fear. Trust God. Know that he's got you. Um, Psalm 91, I apply that. I put that, I, I pray that and I put that on me and my children and my family and actually the whole body of Christ. I do it for the whole body of Christ. So you're, you're included in that as well. I apply that verse that, um, to that scripture to, all of us every day, every morning, every morning I do that. And so, um, you know, 
I used to just do it for myself. And then I was just like, even when I read it, I, instead of saying me and my, and I say us and we, and I, and I, I say, Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm praying, I'm, I'm reading this and he, he, well, he knows what I'm doing, but you know, I put the whole body of Christ, you know, all of us are covered. And so, um, so anyway, just know that we need to be celebrating right now. We need to be just literally celebrating. He's been talking about celebrating. He repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats himself because he wants us to know to, you know, he wants us to get it down in our hearts, you guys. And so we need to get it down in our hearts. And, um, I think you guys got the point, but, um, anyway, um, just, just know you guys that God is for us. And if he's for us, for, for us, not for us, if he is for us, who could be against us? Nobody. And so, um, you know, and we just, we just, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We just got to quote these scriptures, you know, and, and, um, there's so many, there's just, I, there's so many scriptures that we can, we just need to speak them over our lives every single day. And we need to continue to shout the, the defeat of the enemies of almighty God. And, um, anyway, with that, I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys go, but I love you guys. I'm going to come back on tomorrow. I have another, um, prophetic word that I just got yesterday that, um, that, um, and that's the dream. So I'm going to give you the dream that I had that I woke up with on Monday and then he gave me a word with that as well. And it's pretty powerful. So anyway, I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a super blessed day. And don't forget, Jesus loves you too. God loves you. And we are in the palm of his hand, you guys. We are in the palm of his hand. Okay, have a beautiful day. Bye.